Hi, this is Kazemi, and I'm here with Kat and Lena. Uh, Kat and Lena, tell me a, bit, a little bit about your project. So our project is a website where um, people can find information about local opportunities where you can find food, shelter, clothes, and other assistance. Um, it's called Help New Haven. Here we have tabs where you can see specifically opportunities about food, uh, clothes, shelter, and other. Um, we also have a map which shows the locations of the areas, and when you press on a pin, you can see the information of um, that opportunity. For places that, for people who may not have access to Wi-Fi and internet, there's also a PDF printable version of all the information in a table, where the, the church or the food bank can print out the information and hand it out to people. So the reason why we decided to create one website was because we know how hard it is sometimes for people to find uh, resources online, especially from places that aren't allocating their resources towards creating a pretty website, but rather towards the people themselves. Um, so we wanted to create one place where events can register and add their own events, and they can edit them as they desire. So here we have a create an event page, and as you fill out the events, you can have them repeat weekly or not. And for example, like if you go to your events, all the events that you created show up there, and right now we don't have any, but um, you can edit the event if it were there, and you would be able to change the name, the location, uh, the description of the event, for example, if you had an event that was a one-time thing, but it was extremely successful, then you can have it repeat weekly without having to write it in over and over and over again. Um, and you can also delete the um, event from the database completely if, for example, like you ran out of resources and stuff. But yeah, so our entire point is just to try to help people from New Haven who might be struggling. Yeah. Well, what was the most difficult uh, piece of putting all this together? Because it looks great, and there's so many different features going on. I think we had um, a difficult time like fixing the format because we wanted it to look very nice and easy user interface. So when you go to the home with the cards here, um, they were getting a little glitchy on us. So it took a while to get that working. But once we did, um, it looks really good. <laughs> and where, where do you see this project going? Do you think, do you think like you're going to approach local organizations and try to roll this out, actually? Yeah. Um, I, I, I definitely see us expending, uh, especially because we've only been talking to um, a very select number of organizations right now. And uh, a lot of students have come up to ask if we're going to expand to other cities. But I feel like we should probably build a really strong foundation in New Haven first before we do that. Uh, just because I feel like we should focus here. We are in New Haven, Connecticut right now. Um, like Yale is here. And I feel like we should focus on the community here. Um, so I um, actually volunteer at a soup kitchen, which, which is where we got the idea to do this. And I've been talking to a few people who go there, and they are really excited to see like this actually roll out. And I've been actually getting questions about it for like the past month when we've been working on it. Yeah, so we really hope to make it live and actually working. This is wonderful. I, I like wish the best for both of you because this is such a like a fantastic project, and I can definitely imagine seeing it having this like big impact. So thank you so much. Great job, you guys. Once again, this is Kazemi, and this is CS50.